Hi everyone, welcome back to Queenie Pops. I just wanted to do a quick um, skin update. Um, when I first started YouTube, like a month ago, um, I had still had really bad skin, um, but two different kinds it seemed. So on this side of my skin, I had very red, angry um, spots sometimes with a head on them, sometimes not, but very visible, very red and quite sore to the touch. Um, and I'm kind of all mainly in my cheek area. And then this side of my face, it's just kind of been very hard lumps down here. Um, nothing inside them, you know, like no um, heads on them or anything like that. Just very hard. And then obviously when I put my foundation on, it's just causing like shadows and stuff. So. Um, I mentioned previously in a couple of videos what I was doing um, and how something was changing my life and I just thought um, it now does seem to be, I, I'm, I'm completely on the other end of it now so I thought this would be a good time to um, have a quick catch up. I do where there's a couple of videos that I've done recently where I haven't got any makeup on so you can clearly see like what my skin's like. Um, and on my Facebook page, which is Queenie Pops Love, I will um, pop up some pictures. I need to take an after picture now because all the ones I've had is kind of angry red skin. So I will do that as well. But um, obviously, if you know me already, I'm going to talk about um, Cetaphil. Cetaphil, 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 uh, which has got a new pump um, on it now. It is quite expensive, it's eight pounds in boots, which is quite annoying because I know in America it's like four pounds a bottle. Um, I think five pounds for a cleanser really um, is enough, but this is eight ninety nine, so actually nine pounds. Um, and it really, for me personally, with my skin, it just seems to have done wonders for my skin. Um, what I like about it and what I have said previously in another video is just that it is a really natural product. Um, there's no harsh chemicals, there's no alcohol in it. You can put it on your eyes when it's on your skin. It doesn't, you don't feel your skin just shriveling up. Um, I'm older, I'm not in my teen years, so I don't need to be using Clearasil and things like that. That's just not going to work. Your hormone levels are different, so you're, you're putting um, teen acne products on a mature skin, obviously, obviously not that mature, but still, it's you know, we're, it's not what we're here, not what we're here for. <laughs> it's not what those products are for. Um, so learning about this and giving it a go, I just thought, do you know what? I've I've tried for now nearly, I think for nearly like four years, I've had this, um, and it's never quite gone away. And that's what I feel with the other products is that it it can calm it, and it doesn't get so angry. But every morning I'm waking up with a new spot or a new same spot with a big white head on it or something like that. Whereas this really seems to have just calmed everything down and cleared up what the problem was. Um, you can use it with water as like a wash. I use a hot cloth, open up my pores, then I put it on, leave it soak in a bit and kind of wash it off. Or just generally with cotton wool. And what it advises on here is you basically put some into your hand and put it all over your skin first and then wipe it off. And I would advise using the big um, cotton wool pads. Um, very natural, it says high tolerance, I don't actually know what that means. Um, you can use it on children's skin. My basically now, my routine is to take off my makeup. Um, I was also using a bit of bio oil down here. Now it sounds crazy because it's an oil, I know. But because it has, because um, it talks about um, different tone skin, I can't think what I'm trying to say, but uneven skin tone, because it talks about things like that, um, I know you can put it on the face. And the um, Almes um, moisturiser that I'm using for blemishes soaks into the skin really quickly, and it literally then just drags the um, bio oil with it. And, and I've only been putting it like on this area and this area here. And I have felt like these ones here, so I thought today I'm going to do it because these ones here, 
are not as hard and they're quite small now. This is just a little bit dry from one the other day. Um, but they, I am feeling that they are getting a lot smaller. Um, so yes, yeah, so take off all my skin, put that on. I'm using some eye cream and stuff, but skin-wise, that's what I'm doing. And if I don't do um, the bio oil thing, then I'm literally then I will just put another layer of this on my skin, kind of massage it in, and just leave it because that makes me feel better for no other reason than that. But if you are having problem skin, if you're having breakouts, or even if you think that the cleanser you're using isn't really picking up the dirt, especially if you're working in the city, you do just get really grimy, horrible skin, and you want something that's really deep cleansing, that isn't then stripping away all your natural oils and um, leaving your skin incredibly dry. I have to say that there are probably more than several occasions I've put this on and haven't moisturised, because I'm wild like that, and I would never say, oh my gosh, my skin is so dry, ever, ever. I mean, it is just an absolute brilliant product. If you go into boots, you won't find it with all the cleansers and stuff. It is more of a, on the medicated skin kind of area. Look for the, um, I can't think what it is called. There's a, there's a, oh, there's a lotion for dry skin. Um, you've got E45 cream and stuff like that. I think it's near there, kind of on the other side. Um, and there's a body wash as well. And there's a moisturiser for the body as well. Um, so yeah, all over if you've got sensitive skin, um, there is you know there is a, a more of a range now. Um, but I I obviously am still raving on about this. But I just thought from where I started with my videos, we've probably now been a month. So that's a kind of a good um, take on where I've gone with my skin. And I'm not at the point yet. You'll see. <laughs> As I say in other videos, I'm starting my makeup uh, with a bare face. There's no, I'm no way ready to um, bare all yet, but I'm happy to do tutorials starting from nothing and um, do my makeup from there. So, can't recommend this enough. And even if you've got a friend or a relative or someone who you know has problem skin, really try it. I know nine pounds is quite a lot, but I don't think you'll be disappointed. I don't think you'll buy this and think, oh god, that's absolutely rubbish. Um, if nothing, it's a fantastic cleanser. If you're fed up with cleansers, as I say, that are just stripping your skin or you've got quite sensitive skin, this is um, this is really good. And I do think this is something that once my skin's cleared up, I will continue continue to use. So, Cetaphil, very, very happy. That's it, just a quick one today. I just thought, do you know what? I'm gonna get this down um, and I will post some pictures on my Facebook of kind of the awful ready spotty journey that I've been on over the last month. Um, so yeah, that's it. Still haven't learned how to end a video because I ended up waffling in the last uh, 30 seconds or so. So that's it, that's me, have a good day, um, have a good evening. Please like or subscribe this video. I will leave a link to my Facebook page. Please have a look at that and like that also. Um, I'm loving your comments coming through, so please keep them coming, and I'll speak to you soon. Take care, bye.